Hi, welcome to Beautiful Snow TV and welcome back to Snowflakes and welcome if you guys are new. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell notification so you don't miss another time when I upload. And stay hip to the community tab. So these are all the products we're going to be using today. Those are some gel polishes here. I did use um, those two first ones. That is a jelly, y'all. It's so great for doing little blood. Um, it's really, really good. It looks like robot. <laughs> um, but this is also just a nice crimson kind of red. This one was a little bit too bright for my liking, uh, so I did not use that one, but it's still nice to showcase. So we're going to be using some of those products. We're going to be using Shop Kiki's nail stickers today. Um, I bought a bunch, so I'm going to use them. So to save me time and trouble from drawing, um, this is our peel-off base in our stiletto nails. So we're going to be using Evie's Patty Gel with her clear. So with her clear, I feel, as I said before, her Patty Gel is really, really great at formulating. Um, it almost formulates like my cards clear, nice and stiff. You know, put it exactly, you know, it'll stay where you put it until it's time for curing, but it is still workable um, as far as you see how I'm easily moving it about the nail. And it's great, giving, giving me great coverage. So I actually did the application in like maybe 15, 20 minutes. So I, I love, you know, Evie's Patty Gel and McCart. They are one of my top, you know, two of my top favorite brands to work with. Um, if you have not gotten any of Evie's Patty Gel from Long Hair Pretty Nails, make sure y'all swing over there and get some. I'm all about uploading. Uh, uplifting black queens and their businesses because it ain't easy you know it ain't easy but um we are just doing the application here it's very simple i'm gonna do all this um to all the nails and then we'll come back with that result And all application is done. Uh, middle finger looks a little wonky, but that's because I applied, you know, with poly gel to that one because it's, my middle finger is like almost as wide as my thumb. I have long and wide nail beds, so very wide and short and kind of stubby a little bit, but they are still great with a pair of nails. So we're just gonna go ahead and get into our filing. Uh, as you guys already know, the new addition to our filing family is that cylinder disc, like y'all, is getting these edges super crispy, these sides. It gets them so nice and crispy. Like y'all, I had the best time um, with this. <laughs> like I don't know why it's so fun to me, but it is. So I'm just gonna go ahead once I'm done with that with my hand file and then we'll do our cuticle work and buff and I'm gonna do that all to the nails and we'll come right back. And here is all the nails filed, shaped, and buff. Y'all, this looks gorgeous. Like, I love the shape. Like, this is everything. And also, just a pro tip, when you're keeping your shape, you don't want to do all that filing and stuff not to keep your shape. When you're doing gel art, make sure you wipe your sides, top coat, and all. Some people, you know, go in after um, doing their gel art, and they go in, and they just kind of, like, do some, you know, the like, extra tip of filing on the sides and then the free edge as well. So um, I didn't do that here on this set because I don't, I rarely do it because either I'm either watching my sides 
or I just don't do it. It's just simple as that. Um, but I am just going to go ahead and start cutting out my my little stickers here. These are transfer stickers, y'all. They are so helpful. They are also so very cute, very handy, easy to apply, and I really love these. Like I was just kind of figuring out where I wanted them because um, I wanted to use that knife and I wanted to have like dripping and. I kind of went into this nut set, didn't know what I really wanted, where I wanted it, and I just kind of made it up on the fly. I was um, thinking a little bit of help from my, one of my homegirls who were FaceTiming while I was doing my nails, but um, the way you apply these is you apply some top coat, as you see here, you top coat the nail. Now, I did top coat the underside of all these nails if they were clear, so my pinky was the only one that was clear. I cured that. Oh, gosh, this looks so gorgeous. That is Model 1's top coat. I just recently got that and posted it in my last video, y'all. That is some great top coat. I might have to buy a big bottle of that because that one, that one's right there. That one's doing it for me. So I'm just going to peel the white backing off. And then I'm just going to place it where I want on my nail. Now, you're able to pull this up, you know, if you misplace it. But I placed it a little bit too high up for my liking. But it still worked because that nail was gorgeous so i'm just gonna press it down with my little silicone tool here or you can use your finger it doesn't matter i feel like the more heat you apply the better it adheres and the better it transfers it's almost like a foil but it's more high quality so i am gonna go ahead and peel it back and voila nail art boom super cute the knife on the stiletto like y'all was so pleased with this so i'm gonna go ahead and take some of that red jelly i'm gonna put some of my mixing plate there and i'm just gonna take my small little brush and i'm just gonna make like some little blood drips dripping down from the knife and i also did off camera um paint that red blood splatter um from the knife that's on the knife i actually did paint that as well so this was really, really, really cool. I love how this nail came out. I'll let you guys finish watching the process because I'm rambling. And this is my new, well, it's new to me and y'all, but this is my little flash carrying lamp. Um, I got this from Shein almost a year ago, but I just took the little silicone thing sleeve off and I just blinked it out like a couple days ago, y'all. This was so cute. So I'm just going to go in and top coat, but then I think I had went ahead and top coat the underside there. And y'all, this is some clear poly gel. Like y'all, this is some clear poly gel now i did go in and change the rhinestone from this ab to a red one but i did put a you know an ab one there but i did you know knock it off later on throughout the set and then i did go ahead and change it to a red one y'all that was beautiful so now we're gonna go in with our thumb and i'm gonna do a french with black on here i'm gonna go ahead and do like the base that jelly red color because i really like the dark eeriness it gives to the nail set and to you know obviously he's scream you know his ghost face he's blood he's here to stab you like he's here to spill that blood honey but <laughs> y'all i'm so goofy but i'm um, just gonna go ahead and do that with a base i'm just doing one layer and um, one coat like look at the coverage that is born pretty's polish like y'all make sure y'all use my 10 percent discount snow on their website to you know say you a couple coins because the stuff is already almost at an amazing price as is for the quality that we're getting like look at that polish y'all it's gorgeous make sure y'all go ahead and hit on their website and you know check them out we're already you know we're bougie on the budget so we're gonna use born pretty products i want to get to some of their poly gel that's what i that's one of my next steps with them I want to get some of that poly gel. I'm slowly buying a different brand right now that I don't think I have used on the channel yet, but it will be coming soon, like later this week. But, um, because I'm going to be filming my daughter's nails and I'm going to be filming a pedicure as well. So hopefully that goes well. But give y'all something a little bit of a different content. But I'm just going to go ahead and do this French here and, uh, yeah, I'll come back.
And as you guys can see, you're more than halfway through this video. Make sure you hit the subscribe button and support your girl for free. And here, I'm just going to go ahead and start doing the other nails. So I'm going to do that middle one. Um, made this up on the fly. I pulled out some black. Um, this is Nior, Nor, Nor, <laughs> from a cart. And uh, I got to buy some more of that duo. That black and white duo is great. It, it works so well. It's only like nine bucks, y'all, on Amazon. It is in my Amazon storefront as well. So I'm um, just gonna paint the entire nail black. One coat is all I did, y'all. Like I didn't double it up. That's what them thin blacks. This is actually a nice viscosity and I really, really like it. So um Oh my gosh, I was looking at something. I'm so sorry, y'all. But um yeah, so I just did one coat. It doesn't have to be super thin, but look at the pigmentation on that. That's gorgeous. So I did go ahead and cure that. And I'm going to go in with this, uh, that crimson kind of red-like. And I'm just going to go ahead and do the other nail. And I'm going to go ahead and on that index finger, I'm going to go ahead and do a, um, what should I call it? A glitter. So I'll pull out some <laughs> glitter from Dynamic Nail Supply and I will just go ahead and do... Uh, one coat of that on top of this red. I don't know why, but there has to be glitter somewhere. And you know, you know that TikTok meme is like I told you we needed more glitter. Yeah, that that's me. <laughs> so uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and clean up, and then I'll cure both of those for 60 seconds. And this is how they're looking so far. I am loving them. So I didn't want to put that red on top of that, you know, plain red. Give it a little glitter background because you can really read what it says. So I'm going to take some top coat here. 
um, model one stock coat, and I'm just gonna kind of map out where I want my little blood rhinestone drips to be. And I'll just go ahead and take all those rhinestones here that you see. Um, these are in my Amazon storefront as well. And I'll just go ahead and do like the little teardrops as like the actual drips. And I kind of brought it down a little bit. I think this was such a cute idea. Um, I did one right there uh, on the side. Kind of had to turn my hand a little bit because they were sliding. But um, if I didn't use my cart rhinestone glue, it wouldn't slip. But I was like, nah, I ain't gonna use it. Not right now. But um, this is how I did that. I just did this kind of thought of this like out of nowhere. And I was like, yes, I want some blood drips, but I didn't want to draw them. And I was like, oh, rhinestones. That could be so, so, so cute. So I thought this was a cute idea. Hope you guys find it as inspo. And yeah, this is actually very easy. As long as you like lay them in the gel and you kind of map out, you know, how you want it in the gel it's you know fairly easy so yeah i hope you guys like this And this is how the nails turned out. Guys, I am so in love. Like, these are so cute. No, you hang up. <laughs> this is so cute. This is one of my daughter's favorite scary movies, even though I feel like it's not that scary. But I love scary movies. I love Halloween. I love the dressing up and just having fun with each other, scaring and freaking out. So, so cool. I really love this nail set, guys. I hope you do, too. And as you can see, I did change those rhinestones out for some red ones just to give it a little bit more, you know, red effect. I really love this nail set, y'all. This was so cute. Shout out to Shop Kiki for these bomb stickers. Um, if you have not shopped her, make sure you do. Her link is always in my description. And you can also find her on Instagram. But it was so wonderful. Hope you guys enjoyed this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.